Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing the best beauty products I tried in July. Even though I haven't been purchasing a lot of new makeup lately, I still have quite a strong group of products here to share and the sales still got me. Not the makeup sales, but the clothing sales. There were so many great deals this summer. It was my birthday month, so I got a little spendy. At the end, I'm going to share a mini fashion haul of some of the best purchases I made in July, but I wanna begin with makeup. I don't think I shared a favorites video last month. I did purchase this product in June, that's when it launched, but it has been incredible and it's given me enough time to really use it on camera, off camera, and form an opinion. I absolutely love this new Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch from Chanel. It's a step up coverage wise from the Water Fresh Tint, which I really like. I think there is a place for both if you are incredibly picky with your makeup, but because of my personal makeup preferences, I just like a little bit more coverage. It still looks like skin and I think it wears pretty nicely. I have heard some complaints in the comments about people saying it doesn't last on them, it looks dry and cakey, or some people say it looks really greasy and oily. I have normal to combination skin. I had combination skin growing up. Now that I'm 35, it has dried down a little bit, so I feel like I have more normal skin, but because I live in such a humid climate, if I'm outside or if I'm running errands for a long time, I will definitely get oily in my T-zone. I have not struggled with this. Maybe that's because I'm applying more than most people and I kind of go about my normal makeup routine whenever I use it. To me, this is kind of the perfect light to medium coverage foundation. Still looks really nice and natural. So it's a versatile product, more versatile than I thought it would be. I think it's more versatile than the Water Fresh Tint, which is truly just light coverage. It is no makeup makeup, that's all you're going to get from it. So if that's your look of choice, then that is the product for you. But if you do like a little bit of coverage or perhaps you have rosacea or hyperpigmentation, maybe dark circles underneath the eyes, any sort of skin concern that might call for coverage occasionally, maybe not every single day, I think this is the one. It's not the better value <laughs> because it's $65. It's the same price for 0.7 ounces versus one fluid ounce. I wish they had this in maybe a jumbo size bottle because I would spring for the larger size. I love this so much. This could easily be my everyday foundation. I think maybe this, and then I would want to have one full coverage special occasion foundation in my collection. That would be it. This is a very new purchase, but I still had to talk about it because it instantly went to the top of the list. This is the new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I only recently shared my Get Ready With Me first impressions, but I loved it so much after I filmed that video last week that I wore it consecutively for the next few days, including on a date night out, and I'm just so impressed. I think it is such a beautiful foundation. It looks very light and natural, although it is still very perfecting. I would put this in the same category as my Guerlain High Perfection Foundation, which has been my go-to favorite. It's in the top drawer now as we speak, and I was kind of debating in my mind because I'm starting to go through it, and I thought, should I restock this? Should I buy it again? I feel kind of silly because I have so many foundations. I really want, want to go through what I have. I don't need to restock it because now I have this. I think they're very comparable. It looks natural, but very perfecting. Gives really nice coverage. I think the finish is really beautiful. It's kind of neutral. It does have a little glow, but it's pretty matte, at least on me. And it lasted all night on my date night. I was so shocked whenever I came home at the end of the night. I almost got out the video camera and started taking video to capture how perfect the makeup still looked. I don't know if it was the combination of the primer, setting spray, and foundation, or just the foundation, but my complexion looked perfect, as if I had just powdered my face and stepped out the door, and this is hours later. So I am a huge fan of this foundation. I purchased shade 6.5 seems to be a really great match. Highly recommend it. Next, we have my new favorite accidental combination, the Iconic London Illuminator I've talked about several times before. I absolutely love this liquid highlighter. It is incredibly intense. Another trick, I like to mix this into my body lotion for a night out. It leaves the skin looking shimmery and a little bit more even, just beautiful, delicious skin. When I was filming a very natural everyday makeup look, I got the idea to mix these two together. I wasn't sure if it was going to work out. 
It did, and it's become my go-to favorite cheek combination. When you're mixing the products together, it almost looks like they're not mixing. Like you have to really manually force these two to mix. This is the shade Mistral from Laura Mercier. It's a little bit deeper. And then the iconic London Illuminator. I don't know if maybe they just have a different base and that's why it's almost like oil and water. You really have to mix, mix, mix for a moment. But when you go in with a brush and then you tap it on the cheek, it looks perfect. You don't need to go in with highlighter. It gives you that light natural flush, but a very glowy cheek that's not too glowy. The Illuminator from Iconic London is a silvery gold. It's not really all that warm. It almost looks pearlescent, so it's very reflective. But I'm telling you, this on the cheek looks so pretty and it's become my go-to blush. And even if you don't have these exact products, I think you can still achieve the same look with any liquid illuminator and any liquid blush. If you mix them together and then lightly dab it on the cheek, it looks so natural. And that way you don't have to keep layering cheek products. You, that's your blush and your highlighter all in one. Another one of my favorite new complexion products is this Chanel Le Beige Oversize Healthy Glow Sun Kissed Powder. I went with the shade Medium. It is so beautiful on the skin. One of the few pieces from this Le Beige collection that's still available. It feels like a lot of things sold out really quickly, like the body oil. But this is still available. It's an oversized powder. It's not quite a bronzer. It's not really a highlighter or a setting powder. It's a mixture of all three. It has such a silky texture. It's a very creamy powder to the touch. So you can't really see it sitting on the skin. I use this in place of my bronzer, but then I also like to bring it down the neck, chest decollete, a little bit on the shoulders. You can apply it all over face and body and it just leaves your skin looking perfectly sun-kissed. I'm so tempted to purchase another one because I know it is exclusive and limited edition and I just think the color, the texture, the formula, everything about it is so pretty. I don't really want to be without it. This is another late addition to the list, but it has become a top drawer favorite. I love it so much. It's this eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk Dreams eyeshadow palette. Wow. This was sent to me complimentary weeks ago and I just didn't open it. I wasn't really in the mood to try another eyeshadow palette. You guys know I've had eyeshadow palette fatigue for a long time, so I haven't been purchasing eyeshadow palettes, haven't been talking about eyeshadow palettes. I'm really trying to use up what I already have in my collection. So, for me to include this on the list, you know, it must be something special. To be fair, these are basically the exact colors I use from my larger Pillow Talk palette from Charlotte Tilbury, which has been a long time favorite. I'm doing my best to go through the eyeshadow palette. It would be a huge success in my eyes if I was able to finish a large eyeshadow palette. And I've hit pan on three or four of the shades. It's basically these shades from the palette, maybe not exactly, but close enough. The reason I like it is that it is so complete, you don't have to pull out anything else. So this shade up here is the perfect crease shade. You can blend it out with a blank brush to you know, make the transition really nice and soft. You have this matte shade down here, which is perfect for depth, dimension, smoky eye. You have this really pretty pale shade, which doesn't look as creamy on the lid. In the pan, it looks bright, like a bone creamy color. On the eyelid, it looks very peach. And then you have this really pretty kind of mauve pink down here, which I thought was a pop shade. It has a lot of sparkle, but it's actually a lot creamier. It's more like one of their shimmers with extra sparkle. So I just think it's incredibly versatile. It can be a very soft glam. It can be very dramatic. You could make this an everyday palette if you just used these two shadows up here. I don't think the quads are a great value from Charlotte Tilbury because they retail for $53 for four eyeshadows versus $75 for the larger. But if you travel a lot, if you ha have no interest in a larger eyeshadow palette that you will most likely not use up all of the colors or there will be a handful of shades in there that you don't really like or use and you're just more interested in smaller palettes, 
I don't blame you. I think it's a little bit more convenient. It's certainly smaller. This is really all you need to gently melt away all that makeup. Saturday Skin has a new makeup remover. This is the new Saturday Skin Melt and Cleanse Makeup Melting Balm. I did partner with them on a campaign this month, but I wouldn't be talking about it in today's video if I didn't really love it. I always have to double cleanse. Well, if I'm doing a full face of makeup, I will always double cleanse in the evening. I can't just go in with the traditional cleanser. I would have to wash my face five times to remove all of the makeup. It's just easier. It's so fast to go in with a makeup melting balm, rub it around a little bit before I get in the shower, and then I wash my face and everything is gone. My favorite has been the Pharmacy Green Clean. I've been using that for years now. I've tried several makeup removing balms and that was the one I landed on as my favorite. This one has finally edged out the Pharmacy. It is a little bit better because it's not such a hard waxy balm at first. Let me take the little top off. When you remove the cap, inside it's already pretty soft and slushy. You see how it's very oily already. So you don't have to go in, scrape it out, kind of melt it in your hands or melt it on your face. As soon as you apply it to the face, it's already removing your makeup. So it does save you, I think, a little extra time. Milliseconds, but hey. It has so many great skincare ingredients along with the oils that will gently remove your makeup. It does an incredible job with stubborn eye makeup. So for me, this is a little bit better than the pharmacy. I've really enjoyed using this. Another part of my evening bedtime routine that I've been really diligent about lately is lip masking because I've noticed that on days that I'm not doing a full face of makeup, I don't have any product on my lips, they are incredibly dry. I don't know if that's because I wear a lot of liquid lipsticks. I'm, if I'm wearing my Chanel liquid lipsticks or maybe it's just the products that I put on. Maybe my lips are just used to having something glossy or emollient so when I don't wear it, they get dry. I'm not sure, but I've been using my Laneige lip masks and this is the new flavor that they launched this month. This is mango. It smells incredible, like real mango. It's sweet and fruity, it's so delicious, and it's my favorite part of my evening routine now. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit. So I never like to forget, you can use it during the day as a lip treatment. I keep one of these masks on my bedside table so I never forget, and I've just made it part of the routine. I go through my skincare, brush my teeth, I do my lash serum, I do my lip mask, and then I'm ready for bed. And my lips just feel so much softer, especially in the morning, they feel incredibly soft. I fished this nail polish out of my empties bin because this has definitely been a recent favorite, not just in the month of July. It was part of the spring collection from Chanel. It was the only shade I purchased. It's 921 Evanescence. I believe it is still available. I loved this nail polish. I used the entire bottle which normally I don't really go through nail polishes that quickly. I did have to do several coats, like a full three coats every single time I painted my nails because it had more of a jelly effect where I guess it's kind of more sheer. I prefer more opaque, so I would go in with three coats, but with three coats of the Chanel and then the clear OPI, my nails were hard as rocks and it would last a really long time. So I was incredibly impressed with the longevity I used it consistently for a couple months and now it goes in the empties bin. I scraped every last bit of this nail polish I could get. There's a teeny tiny bit, like a small layer down at the bottom, but it's the older, really thick nail polish. So there's just no way I can use it up. I'm not sure it's something that I would replace. I've gone back to my nude nails, which is typically what I live in, but this was a nice change, a very flattering pink shade. These next two products sort of go hand in hand. They're both for tanning. This is a new sunless tanner. Well, it's new for me. First time I tried it was this month, Malibu Bronze. This is the Ultra Dark. I did a campaign with them. It is the darkest sunless tanner I have ever tried. In fact, I think, I think it might be too dark. And I'm surprised I'm saying this because usually I'm frustrated with my sunless tanners and I always go for the ultra dark, but it's never quite dark enough. I still usually have to do maybe two coats to get to, get to the level of tan that I want to be at because when I'm sunless tanning, it's usually because I plan to take photos outside. 
the sun is just so harsh. Unless you are really tan, you'll end up looking pale in photos. That's just the way it is for me. I am so pale naturally that I have to go in with a second coat of sunless tanner. Not with this. One coat is all you need and it makes you like bodybuilder tan. It takes you so dark, which I really like. The only problem is that if you make a mistake, it is incredibly obvious and that's where this product comes in handy. So with this, I have only used it a couple times. I haven't quite been able to perfect hands and feet. Those are always my trouble areas, but with a sunless tanner this dark, you really have to be careful. Now my hands didn't look great at first when I applied it, but I washed my hands a lot. So throughout the week, my tan is still going strong and now my hands look pretty natural. It doesn't look like a, a crazy line of demarcation there. So even if it looks bad at first, within a couple days of washing your hands, it does even out. Those for early days, if you do make a mistake, you can always go in with a bronzer like this. This is the Fenty Beauty Body Sauce. Body Luminizing Tint. I have shade Honey Honey O2. You have to be careful because it will transfer on your clothing. So don't use this underneath clothes. But for example, if I started to get a little bit splotchy from the sunless tan on my chest, maybe I'm three or four days into the tan, I can use a little bit of this and the colors blend together really nicely and this will help even out your tan. So I've been using this to help with my hands in case I made a tragic mistake. But if you wanna look like you've spent a month at the beach, I cannot recommend a better sunless tanner, the Ultra Dark. Yeah, I tanned on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's Wednesday and I do see the tan starting to break up a little bit on my arms and then a little bit on my stomach, but it's not bad. I mean, you can see it's really not that splotchy at all. Maybe a little bit under here. I'm so impressed with how long this tan lasts. My legs look extremely bronze. You know, it's not perfectly even. I mean, it really is perfectly even right here. Like it's faded very evenly. But I would say this is the best sunless tanner for fading as well. Like it's faded the most natural out of any other tanner, which is really impressive because it makes you so dark. I recently started using these Necessaire products as soon as I get out of the shower so I don't forget and I don't skip them. And this has probably made a difference with the longevity of my sunless tan as well because you do have to keep your skin hydrated. This body serum is amazing. As soon as I step out of the shower, I'll lightly towel dry, not all the way, and I go in with this immediately. And it has the perfect consistency. It doesn't feel heavy or greasy whatsoever. It just sort of absorbs right into the skin, but it has hyaluronic acid. So it helps to have a little moisture from your shower still left on the skin. And then I'll go in with the body lotion. It doesn't have any fragrance. It's especially great for any dry spots on the skin, like your feet, your elbows, your knees. If you have eczema or any other dry skin that might be irritated from an overly fragranced body moisturizer, I highly recommend the Necessaire products. I have a coupon code because I did a partnership with them this month. So I will make sure that the code information is in the description box in case you're interested. I have one less product here to talk about before we get to my mini fashion haul. This is from JVN. It's the pre-wash scalp oil. I've been using this as you can tell for the past month, month and a half. So it's a pre-wash scalp oil. On a wash day in the morning, I will just take this out take a couple droppers full and I start in my main part area and I'll just do one dropper full, splice the hair, do another dropper full and I'll just kind of work my way down each side of my hair until my scalp is completely covered with this oil. And then I'll sort of massage it in, leave it in for a little bit. I'll take my tangle teaser, kind of brush it through the hair. So you wanna concentrate on the scalp, but you can also apply this oil throughout the entire shaft of the hair, all the way to the ends, root to the bottom. Leave it on for 15, 20 minutes, it says, and then go ahead and wash it out. And I'll try to leave it on for about an hour. 
I don't really know if that makes a difference, but I figure the longer it sits on my hair, the better. And when you wash it out, it does not leave your hair feeling heavy. There's no residue, no leftover oil sitting on the hair, which is amazing but it does feel softer, more manageable. It feels more hydrated. And with my hair, I definitely have some damage going on from years of going blonde and being a natural, very dark brunette. I think the next time I get my hair colored, I'm just gonna do a toner and I'm not gonna do highlights. I'm gonna try to incorporate a little bit more darkness or some deeper colors to help blend but especially on top in this area right here, which does tend to be the driest, I feel like this oil made an instant difference. I could tell there was a difference the first time I used it and I've been using this oil now every single time I'm about to wash my hair. This is part of my wash day routine now. I'm gonna start my mini fashion haul with my accessories of the day. I received a little package in the mail from Adina's Jewels. I had never heard of this jewelry brand, but they reached out and offered to send me a few pieces. So I was browsing their website and I saw these butterfly necklaces and I thought they were really cute. They arrived and they're even cuter in person. So this is not a stack. You have the little butterfly choker, which is gold with little rhinestones. And then this is a little butterfly lariat necklace. And when you combine them and wear them together, it looks like you have a bunch of really pretty sparkling butterflies on your chest. I'm really impressed with the quality. In fact, everything they sent me is very cute. So I love this little butterfly combination. I'm gonna show you what else I picked out from their website. Everything came in this really cute little box. I picked out a few additional pieces. Everything comes in these really pretty soft beige baggies. I have this gorgeous little rhinestone crystal tennis necklace. I thought this would look so cute. Again, on its own or layered with other necklaces, but that's a really great starting piece, the little sparkly choker. And then this, I think this is another short one. Yeah, this is another shorter chain and then it has little rhinestones on it. So a little bling. I was so happy with my package when it arrived. I had to share that with you. So those were sent to me complimentary, but everything else I'm going to share with you, I purchased myself. And most of these items I did pick up on sale. Starting with these really beautiful Palazzo pants from Camilla, one of my favorite Australian brands. I have a few one piece swimsuits from Camilla, which I know I've shared before. That's all I own. Her pieces are pretty pricey, so I always purchase on sale. The swimsuits I actually bought on eBay. These I purchased from Saks Off Fifth, and it's when they were running an additional percentage off of sale. And then something unfortunate happened. They sent me a size small instead of extra small. So I called customer service. They were the last pair. So they couldn't exchange them for me. They offered an additional discount. So I ended up getting these for a really great price sale on top of sale on top of sale. I will have to get them tailored, just taken in a little bit so I can actually wear them. I haven't done that yet, but it is on my to-do list because I plan to really wear these pants. They're a thick linen fabric, but they're nice and flowy. So I think even though it's still really hot outside, I could probably wear these now. But I just love her style. Her patterns, her prints are so unique. They're so beautiful. And I imagine these would look really nice maybe with a bodysuit or a cute little white blouse, white top. Any sort of plain, simple top because the bottoms are obviously the statement. And they have a belt. It's a high-waisted pant and it comes with this really cute matching belt. So I really like the pattern on these. I like how they're high waist and wide leg. So beautiful. I cannot wait to get these tailored so I can actually wear them. The 260 Miami sample sales are back. So if you live in Miami or South Florida and you love discounts, shopping, sample sales, make sure you sign up on their website so you get all of their newsletters. A couple weeks ago, I went to the Reformation sample sale. It was pretty picked over. I tried to go the first day and there was a line wrapped around the building and I thought, absolutely not. So I went later on in the week when most of the good stuff was probably sold. They still had some really beautiful dresses, sets, skirts. They had some loungewear. 
a couple of the pieces either had makeup stains or they there was something wrong with it you know it a strap was broken or maybe it had a little stain but I was able to rummage through and find a really cute set so it's this black denim little crop top and then there's a matching skirt and I got very lucky because they had my size in both so it's a cute little black denim skirt with the same gold buttons. I tried it on and it fits perfectly and the denim even has a little bit of a stretch. So I think all together, let's see if it has the original tags. It does, but it doesn't have the price. This is one of my favorite things that I found at the sample sales. They're really hit or miss. I think you have to go with the mindset that you're going to have to search a little bit. It's not going to come easy and you have to be willing to walk away from something if it's not perfect because there's always something better coming the next week or maybe the following week. I learned my lesson last season because I was going every week to the sample sale just to see if I could find a really great deal and I ended up purchasing things just because of the discount and they weren't items that I actually loved. I think you have to keep that mindset for all shopping but especially maybe outlet shopping where you can find yourself being blinded by the deal instead of purchasing things you actually love. A few weeks ago Cult Gaia had a big sale on their website and I found something really cute. I haven't tried this on yet. I do have another dress from them and it fits beautifully so I'm just assuming this is going to fit as well but I really like the quality of their pieces. This was already discounted and then an additional percentage off. I'm gonna have to try this on for you because it's strappy and complicated. It's really not that complicated, but there are a few straps that wrap around. But basically it's a top and a skirt and they're connected through these little straps that then tie around the waist. I really like the color. It was also available in black, but they didn't have my size. I would have probably gone with the black, but I really like this pretty wheat color. It's kind of a nice beige texture. It reminds me of nature. It feels like a very natural fabric, like something hand woven. I'm hoping the color looks okay with my skin tone. I think I'll have to be extremely sunless tanned for this to look nice on me. We do have a few trips to the Keys planned, so I figured this dress would be perfect for a nice dinner down on the beach, maybe a little staycation, something like that, but definitely a date night. I have one more item here, which I purchased from Revolve. It's this cute little tweed set, and I just love this rainbow tweed. It's pink and green, yellow, orange. It has all of the colors of the rainbow in there. There are several different pieces you can kind of mix and match. I went with the little crop top and the skirt and I tried it on and the fit is so perfect. It's more of a spring vibe, I think, but this is supposed to be a Barbie summer with the Barbie movie coming out and I really like these buttons as well, the little sparkly buttons. And it comes with a detachable belt. So I just loved the little details. I think there's a jacket, you can get shorts, and they had like a different top besides the little crop top that I chose. A bunch of different separates and then you can put together whichever outfit you think is the best. But I just can never resist a tweed set and especially this rainbow pink tweed was too cute to pass up. I had a discount code, an additional discount, and a gift card at Revolve. So I had to spend it anyways, but I think now with this outfit, I'm done shopping for a while. What I don't want to do is go on my makeup no buy and then just turn to other areas and shop too much for clothing or accessories find something else to be spending my money on mindlessly. The point of the no buy is to have a true reset. So I went a little crazy in the month of July. It was my birthday month. I'm giving myself a pass, but I really need to finish going through my closet, go through all of my drawers. I started the process a couple months ago and I just haven't had a chance to finish. So I'm gonna keep going through my closet, keep getting rid of stuff. And it does help to make room for new items, but I need, I like the clothes I have. I'm an outfit repeater. I certainly don't feel like I need a new outfit for every event I go to. And 
I want to get more use out of the things that I already have that I truly love. So that does it for my July favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. If you have a favorite beauty item or favorite purchase of the month, drop me a comment. We'll keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.